this ha accident happened at a terrible, terrible spot. You have to cross the San Jacinto River to get into town. Well, this accident happened just after you crossed the river. Really no good way to get around this. I want to show you two views from sky eye and from the ground. Down here, you can see the cleanup is actually over. The majority of the stuff that needs to be picked up and removed has been taken away, but TxDOT had to add a layer of asphalt to the roadway as a temporary fix. And you see these workers over here on the ground level, they're fixing that guardrail that was completely wiped out after that 18-wheeler driver struck the guardrail. The accident was fatal. The driver was killed. The cleanup lasted for hours and hours. I did spoke with TxDOT. They said the best estimate to get this all cleaned up and the road open, another couple of hours. And as you mentioned, the backup, boy, it just goes on and on and on. It's bumper to bumper, and it is at a crawl. As the cleanup from the 18-wheeler fire continued well into the morning, the traffic backup got longer and longer. It was awful. I'm supposed to be at work at 8, and I left at 7. The 15-minute drive from Kingwood Boulevard to Townsend taking a full hour. Some sat in traffic much longer. This video from a viewer who says her mother sat in the backup for more than three hours. Everyone we spoke with has the same thing in common. They just cannot get to work on time. We're late. What did your boss say? Uh, we, we, we told him we got a ca caught in traffic, so he said it was okay. The 18-wheeler was carrying lawnmowers. The accident caused a fire that lasted quite some time, and with Highway 59 shut down for hours, the side streets quickly filled up. Oh, my God, it's a mess. It's absolutely horrible. That left no way for anyone to get by quickly. Pretty bad coming out of Kingwood, yes. I uh, guess the freeway's totally closed, so everybody's using the loop or trying to find another way around. So TxDOT officials tell me that they still have to do a very thorough inspection of the roadway. The hope is that this asphalt that was put down as a temporary patch is going to be good enough. But if they get in, if they find that there's some extensive damage to the roadway, they may have to delay reopening the roadway for quite some time. The best guess right now is another hour and a half or so if everything goes well. The latest piece of the operation, of course, the asphalt patch, and then the inspection, and then, of course, last thing over here is fixing the guardrail that was was completely wiped out with this 18-wheeler driver hit that guardrail. The humble police tell us that they do have a tentative ID, but they don't want to release it until it's confirmed by the Harris County, uh, the, the morgue folks. So yeah, this is going to be a while still, but hopefully people can start to get around it as the day wears on. You know, here we are at 11 o'clock, but boy, that backup just continues and continues for miles, guys.